We often need to create new data layers prior to digitizing. So we'll create an empty layer with characteristics we're interested in and then digitize into those. Now, I can do that by looking at the top here and going to layers and selecting create layer. And then I can create various types of layer. We will most often create geo packages and a uh, shapefile layer with this tool. So I have to name it. And so I'll have to browse to a location and give this a name lines for me. Um, and I have to tell it the geometry type. Well, this is going to be a line type. I can select polygon or point most often or other types. I can also select the project coordinate system, either from a drop down list of the ones I've recently used or the full shebang. I can go pick one here. I'll stick with this UTM coordinate system. I can add fields if I know what fields are going to be in there. So I might have identifier as one of my fields and it's text data of a maximum length of 30. And then I can add it then to my list or uh, size. Maybe that's a whole number integer of a maximum length of 25. I usually don't use lengths there and add to the field. And then I could do um, area maybe in square kilometers. And I can make that then a decimal number. So we don't have to add, but we can if we know we're going to be entering them later on. And so I'll say, OK, and it'll go ahead and create that layer. And if I right click on it and look at the attribute table, it shows me, yes, it has those values with no entries. So there's a column for an identifier to size and an area in square kilometers. And then it also has its internal ID that it creates. And I can look down at the properties below and see that, yes, it did assign the coordinate system I asked. So I'll create point line and polygon layers, empty containers into which then I will digitize new data.